Did you know that databases have hidden powers? They can be a game changer for communication between applications and services. And in this video, I'll show you how to use a database as a communication solution, when it's the best option, and the key techniques to ensure seamless data synchronization. This video is part of a 10 episode series on microservices communication, but the concepts discussed here are all applicable to any distributed system or service integration. Imagine you've built a video streaming platform with a solid microservices architecture, you've set up asynchronous messaging between your services, and everything is running smoothly. Now, let's say you want to send data to an external analytics tool whenever a user hits the like button on the video. Easy, right? Every time a like happens, the video service can publish an event, but unfortunately, the analytics tool you've chosen isn't compatible with your messaging system. So what can you do? The answer, shared storage. Databases and files have been around for decades and are compatible with almost any programming language and tool. By using a shared database or a file system as a communication layer, you enable services to interact without direct messaging. Here is how. Each time a video gets a like, the video service records it in a shared storage. Then the analytics service can read from this database or file whenever it needs to. But why is shared storage such a powerful solution? Because it gives teams the freedom to use any language or framework they want while keeping data flow between services smooth and reliable. Compatibility is no longer an issue. Plus, you're not locked into a specific messaging infrastructure, which keeps your architecture flexible. The likes data you've collected have been a huge win. Recommendations are better and revenue is going up. Now with more budget, you're moving to an advanced analytics tool that supports messaging. For your next project, you want to track each time a user clicks to watch a video. This means the video service will send a message every time a video is watched. But with millions of users and videos, that would mean millions of messages. And this raises some big questions. Can your messaging system handle so many messages? If messages are sent to the analytics tool, can it keep up? So this is where shared storage once again offers a smart alternative. Instead of creating millions of messages, the video service can log each view in a shared database or file. And the analytics tool can then check the storage at its own pace, and it can use optimized query to get data more efficiently. This setup cuts down messaging traffic and may even save on infrastructure costs. With shared storage, you're using a solution built to handle a high data volume without stressing your messaging system. Using shared storage to connect services is very powerful, but there is one more piece to consider. How does the analytics tool know when new data is available? And how does it keep track of which data has already been processed? There are two ways to handle this. The analytics tool can regularly check the shared storage for new entries, and that's called polling. It's easy to set up, but timing is key. Too frequent and it's inefficient. Too slow and processing is delayed. Polling can be a good fit, but it's not ideal if you need real time or small processing delay. But fortunately, some databases keep a log of every change and they allow you to subscribe to this log. This means the analytics tool gets notified each time there is new data without consistently having to check for updates. This approach is known as log tailing. Think of it like subscribing to notifications on your phone and you get alerted whenever there is a new activity. Both methods make sure the analytics tool only process fresh data, keeping things efficient. Using shared storage like a database or a file system can be a very powerful way to connect services. It's a flexible solution for handling large amounts of data and it works across different tech stacks. But it's not perfect. For example, if you need real-time processing, a dedicated message broker might be a better fit. And remember, 
relying on shared storage means that it becomes a critical part of your system's reliability because if it goes down, communication between services will be affected. So make sure it's well managed and secure. Service integration can be very complex, but there are ways to improve your chances of success. You can watch this next video to learn the key steps for avoiding integration pitfalls and building smooth, reliable communication setup between your applications and services.